All right, welcome to another wiring module. Today we are going to be doing a ANL fuse holder. So you're going to need some of these for wiring your system. This is a 60 amp fuse. These are very common. There's also uh, breakers you can use. Either one works and these are pretty easy to wire. They're all going to vary, but I'll just show you really quick how we're going to wire it and then we'll throw it in the van. First things first is we're going to take our cable lug terminal here and we are going to put it right there on the nut that's already in place. Then we will take a flat washer, throw it on top, and then we will we'll do that on both sides so I can put the fuse in at the same time. So terminal end to the nut, flat washer. Then we will take our fuse, our a &L 60 amp fuse, place it in like so. Then we will take another flat washer on each side on the top. And then we will take our locking washers, these guys, and we will place those on top. And then we will tighten the nut down. And these nuts here are 9 16 so I'll just take my 9 16 wrench, make sure everything's in place, and then I'll just tighten it. It's a very simple, straightforward task. And these are just going to protect your system in the event of any short or anything happening as if you got in an accident or something or... There was a voltage surge, which is very rare, but it's good to protect it because then otherwise we could fry our whole fuse panel. So there you have it. And then we're gonna go in the van and we'll probably have to take it apart and install this on first, but I just wanted to show you the order of the nuts and locking washer, flat washer, a &L fuse, flat washer, nut. That's how it goes. and. We'll throw this in the van now. 